All right, everyone. There's a little more action here on the weekends when the state workers are gone and the shirkers. And we had also gone down. Maybe we can turn around now. Maybe we'll do it later and we can show you that there are big holes dug on the sides of the railroad tracks now. And I'm not sure what that is about. Maybe the railroad people did that so that people couldn't put up any more tents. So it looks weird, like little cliffs on either side of the tracks. There are crows and seagulls both. This one's sort of keeping a distance. But um, anyway, just have a great morning, everyone. And we'll try to get back over there because it was interesting to drive by it the other day. Anyway, take good care. You know what, since no one's around and it's right here, I think we will just show you really quickly. You can see. There are holes kind of dug on either side. That had been flat, totally flat before. And there was speculation also, I think for my I shouldn't say suspect. I'm not, I'm not out to, to do whatever. I'm just recording, just being a journalist. Once again, this is the Black House that's owned by the vampire dentist who owns a series of these around town. And I think people have tried to do little films on it, on him. But there you can see the holes that were not there before. It was totally uh, level and really scraped flat the last time we were here. So here's the aftermath. Everyone have a great and wonderful day. Take care.